Lauren Piscotta first filed her suit in Los Angeles four months ago, before filing an amended complaint this week outlining new wild claims. In the latest 86-page filing, she alleged her drink was spiked at a recording session with P. Diddy, and she was later told by Kanye they had fooled around. P. Diddy is currently behind bars awaiting trial for sex trafficking, but is not accused of any wrongdoing in this suit. Piscotta was allegedly in complete and utter shock after Kanye told her they'd been intimate, and she told him she had no memory of the encounter. She also claimed in the lawsuit that Kanye turned his office into a sexual playground and his wife Bianca Sansori was his orgy coordinator. Piscotta also shared alleged text claiming Kanye had told Bianca he wanted to have sex with her mother while Bianca watched, which she denied. The US Sun spoke to attorney Ron Zambrano, who is representing clients in some of Kanye's other suits, about Piscotta's new claims. Yeah, these type of allegations with regards to now, what happens between a couple and what's allowed and not allowed is different, but when it comes to their families, this is certainly inflammatory, and, and, and I'm sure the parents and, and, and the, the senior folks, and by being senior, the, the patriarchs and matriarchs of her family, which are what I've heard is, is quite a large family and influential family in Australia are not going to take kindly to these types of allegations. And he's going to have to tread carefully. Based on my lawsuits, I've spoken to other people within his circle or formerly within his circle. I've never heard anything this crazy or salacious, but it doesn't surprise me that he would act or talk this way based on what I've heard secondhand. Um, what the danger is for him now really is who else is going to come forward now that this person has opened this door and be like i'm a victim i'm coming forward you're not alone if her attorney the plaintiff's attorney does uh, a good job with regards to serving him either or by publication which requires an application and the judge is satisfied like you've done everything you could to, to serve this guy i'm gonna as a matter of law i'm gonna say he is served then there's a possibility that they could get a judgment against him without him participating, which is called the default process. Uh, but but the, but the real game, which is what I would call, is getting the judge to say, I, I agree with you, even though you haven't physically handed him the piece of paper that is the complaint and summons, you've done enough within the rules for me as the judge to rule that he has been served, he is on notice, and now you can move forward with a default judgment. That, that, would be, that would be a huge victory in and of itself. She worked for Kanye from 2021 to 2022 and is suing for wrongful termination, unlawful retaliation, sexual harassment, and intentional infliction of emotional distress. Kanye has denied all her claims labeling the allegations as baseless, but is yet to formally respond to the suit. Kanye still has no legal representation and has not replied to the initial complaint for months, which could result in a judge siding with Piscotta.